The new FX historical epic series Shagun follows the story of John Blackthorne, based on the real-life English navigator William Adams. After Blackthorne washes up on Japanese shores and is taken prisoner, Blackthorne and Toronaga develop an unlikely alliance when they realize they have a common enemy. So, he is the real-life story of John Blackthorne's character. William Adams is the real-life inspiration for Shagun's John Blackthorne. The character of John Blackthorne is based on the real-life William Adams, whose remarkable true story sets the stage for the acclaimed historical FX series. Adams was born in England in September 1564 and grew up learning shipbuilding, astronomy, and navigation before joining the Royal Navy at a time when England was at war with Spain. Following his service against the Spanish Armada in 1588, Adams became a pilot for the Barbary Company, a training company established by Queen Elizabeth I as a pilot. Adams used his skills as a navigator to bring products such as cloth and sugar to England. According to Britannica, Adams shipped out as pilot major with five Dutch ships in June 1598, setting his sights on the East Indies or present-day Indonesia through the Strait of Magellan. This is consistent with John Blackthorne's character in Shagun whose crew and ship were greatly affected by the tumultuous weather and the terrible storms. This is how Adams ended up on Japanese soil in April of the year 160, landing on the island of Kyushu in southern Japan. This marked the very first time in history that a British ship had ever made it to Japan. William Adams became the first Englishman to reach Japan. As portrayed in Shogun through the character of John Blackthorne, William Adams and his suffering crew had not intended to land in Japan. After 19 months in seas and with many of them sick and dying, Adams and his crew were taken prisoner by one of the five Japanese feudal regions. They were promptly brought to the Japanese city of Osaka to stand before the soon-to-be shogun Tokugawa Yasu, the inspiration for the character Yashii Toranaga in the series. The shogun was reportedly so impressed by Adams' intelligence on a variety of topics that he made him one of his advisors. William Adams' relationship to Tokugawa Yasu explained. The meeting of William Adams and Shogun Tokugawa Yasu, Blackthorne and Yoshinai Toronaga is the premise for the new This New FX series, acting as the foundation for the events to come based on their unlikely alliance. The real-life Adams was given the honor of Hatamoto, a distinguished rank of advisor to the Shogun, and was granted his own estate. In return, Adams was required to help build Western-style ships for the Japanese Navy and was essentially given many privileges because of his expert knowledge of shipbuilding which greatly impressed Tokugawa Yasu. William Adams became the first Western samurai. After Adams proved himself to be incredibly resourceful to Tokugawa Yasu, he was appointed as a diplomatic and trade advisor of Japan and became his personal advisor on all matters pertaining to the Western world. He was even promoted to become Tokugawa Yasu's personal translator and was not allowed to leave Japan even though he left a wife and kids at home back in England. Sympathetic to Adam's concerns but determined to keep him in Japan for his advantage, Tokugawa Yasu made Adams the first Western samurai by giving him the name Mira Anjin and lived a luxurious and honorable life. William Adams' role in Japan's trading industry explained. Adams' training knowledge allowed Tokugawa Yasu to enhance Japan's trading capabilities, forming the Dutch East India Company in 1605 that traded goods with Holland. Through Adams' efforts, the Dutch were able to establish an official trading post in Japan in a matter of years whereas the Portuguese and Spaniards had tried to do that for decades without success. Adams then played a large role in establishing the English Trading Company in Japan in 1613, allowing the English to trade, barter, and sell goods in Japan. Adams then received authorization from Tokugawa Yasu to return to England, but chose to stay in Japan. William Adams remained in Japan until his death in 1620. After Adams chose to stay in Japan despite having an opportunity for safe passage back to England, the samurai, who spoke fluent Japanese, continued to be a prominent trading figure for Japan. In William Adams' personal letters, he explained that his reasons for staying in Japan might have been more of a direct refusal to accept the offer of English Captain John Saris. His letters read, The reason I would not go with him was for diverse injuries done against me, which were things to me very strange and unlooked for.